Hello, I am Mr. Cruz, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to log into Schoology, which is the learning platform for District 11 in the 2020-2021 school year. No matter if we are doing remote learning or if we are in person, uh, a whole lot, if not all, of your work is going to be submitted through Schoology. So let me show you how to at least log into that, and then you can check out any of the other tutorials that I've made when it comes to turning in those assignments. So when you get onto Sabin's website, which is d11.org forward slash Sabin, there are three ways to get onto Schoology. They're very, very fast. First, over here in this green area on the right-hand side of your screen is the little Schoology link right down there. It's probably the fastest way. If this gets changed throughout the year and you need to find it in another way, usually you can find it through virtual learning. If you hover over that, Schoology will be that option right there. And then the next way is to go to students and then Schoology will be also linked from there. doesn't really matter how you get to Schoology, just do not go to Schoology.com. Reason being, D11 has its own domain within Schoology. If you go to Schoology.com, you have to go through like three or four extra steps to get to log into Schoology for D11. So use the links that are found on our page. Do not just try to Google Schoology. It'll take you to the wrong spot and it'll make it way harder for you to log into Schoology. Okay, so I'm going to click on that Schoology icon right there, and it's going to ask me for my email address, and then it'll ask me for my password. The email address is your first name dot last name at d11.org, same way you got onto your Chromebook, and your password is the same D11 password that they gave you to log into your Chromebook. Enter those two things in, and it'll bring up your home screen. So I'm going to type mine in. And you can see that I've used this computer before and I've saved that password on here. If you are on the device that the district gave you, the Chromebook that the district gave you, I suggest that you save that login information and password on here. It'll get wiped out later on at the end of the school year, but since you have that Chromebook with you, if you want to save yourself some time, just save that password onto your device. So that's what I'm going to do. Then next. It remembers my password and then it'll ask do I want to stay signed in so that I don't have to put in my email address and password every single time. Uh, that's up to you. I usually click yes on that. There you go. It'll take you to recent activities in your course dashboard. Recent activities will show you any updates to save in middle schools uh, Schoology page or any updates that your teachers have been posting onto your course websites, anything recent, right? And then under course dashboard, this is where you can find all the classes that you are a part of and you can click on those. All right, guys, so that's it for the tutorial on how to sign into Schoology. I hope this helps. Take care.